so in this audio i am going to discuss that how you can prepare for uh, csir exam so first i start with books so if you have already completed your msc it is important to save your time so i will suggest that go for coaching books like conceptica or pathfinder i always suggest for pathfinder pathfinder is really good so they have five six set of books like both life science volume 1 2 pathfinder mcqs uh, test and evolution which contains uh, old papers and they have biophysics unit as well so you can you can check from those books if you are doing msc currently you are msc student then you should uh, follow reference book like leninger boyd and boyd law dish levin all those they, they make your base so like for me i have always read from during my mscs from these those reference book and those those are really good so these are these are the types of books or notes you can follow so one thing that is a standard reference book or notes you can uh, select that is pathfinder or whatever you like so first thing is that you select the notes where you want to read first of all what you do you check the syllabus then you decide any mentor it can be you yourself any teacher coaching there are youtube channels specifically made for gate or csir or any other exams or you can ask senior or any website then first thing you do first thing you do you just take last one or two year paper give your 3 to 4 hours analyze the paper analyze the paper how many question you are able to solve what is the depth i always do for before the exam i have given several exams and i always do that how much i know uh, before giving the any exam which kind of questions are asked very frequently which are not asked so this is really important before give starting your preparation then what you do make a proper schedule proper schedule like morning morning session you will you will study this much syllabus evening session you will study this much syllabus and night you will solve the mcqs now coming to the that that what how you are going to cover like 5 months or 6 months is left so what you do you divided by whatever syllabus is left like 6 months is left and 12 unit so i will suggest that parallelly you give two units like one time morning you study biochemistry and evening you study either ecology plant physiology whatever convenient for you you read that one by this way you can make a proper syllabus for 4 to 5 months so this is the best method that you can do what you can do whatever you have already studied you might be geology student you might be biotechnology student botany student so always start whatever you have already studied like if you are geology student developmental biology or classifications and all if you are bio, uh, botany student then start with plant physiology so those will give you confidence that whatever you have st- studied you know already so that you do and time whatever it's not restricted 3 hours is also enough and 15 hours is also enough so anything whatever you can give just give that time for your preparation i suggest that there are some units which have you have never studied okay like plant physiology whoever is biotechnology student in plant physiology they have never studied so what they can do they can check the syllabus or take a book and then search that topic in youtube watch that topic then read yourself and solve mcq this is the best method free method that you can follow now what you can do morning session whatever difficult topic for you like some people face problem in numericals those kind of genetics those kind of question you keep morning for those session noon session those you can solve like tricky based method based or you can remember those things those you can do and evening session always always evening session what you can do you keep to solve mcqs okay 
it's absolutely necessary whatever you have studied in the morning session or after noon session in the same topic you solve with the mcqs on a same day before you go to bed okay daily solving question is key those question are not going to come but it will tell your preparation it will going to help uh, in exams in different exams it will give you your confidence and then keep revising the things so this i will tell you later on so what you do parallelly you start studying morning session like biochemistry and then afternoon session you study like any plant physiology developmental biology anything and then evening session both units like if you have studied uh, amino acids and uh, in plant physiology you have studied secondary metabolite you solve mcq on a same day daily basis this you do monday to friday okay this you try to complete in monday to friday you keep some target in monday to friday next what you do saturday or sunday any day saturday or sunday what you do whatever you have studied just thoroughly go through that just go through that and solve mcqs solve old papers csir old papers you are able to solve that you can do in two or three days as well so solve csir old papers as well that is absolutely necessary so that that you solve what else you can do like sunday keep take a proper break do do not touch any book or don't think about exam in initial before like if uh, your exam is left for 4 or 5 months then take a proper break don't think about much about exams and just monday to saturday keep that thing i will suggest that whatever units i have observed it does not take more than 18 to 20 days it 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 does not take so what you can do like biochemistry complete in 18 to 20 days any unit like cell biology or anything you just complete in 18 to 20 days only then and don't start random like today your mood to read amino acid and then tomorrow you have mood to read replication don't do that go serial wise it will help to complete the syllabus in time <clears throat> and it will make your strength okay don't do random i just i have seen people that people start like today they are studying some topic and then again i will ask uh, different day they are studying different thing so don't do that this is absolutely necessary okay once you complete two units your two units are ready you start studying next two units like cell biology and immunology you start but one more key thing you keep revising older thing just give 5 to 10 minute 10 to 15 minute to re for revision whatever older you have like biochemistry or plant physiology you have studied you just give time to revise revise that thing it's very important you just keep revising just tend to you don't read new topic it's absolutely fine but keep revising old things and how to make reading exciting what you do there are 10 question give timer for 10 minutes solve question in 10 minutes and then score and it should be like 25% cut off 25% negative marking in that way if you will do it will be always interesting it will be like amazing like exam only small small exams as i already told that what you you, you what you can do whatever you have not studied just go through youtube search that topic search some best channel what you can understood there are Uh, lectures by iit professors like nptel ak lectures all those lectures are there they teach an amazing way khan academy so amazing so you just read from uh, learn from that read yourself the same topic and solve mcq if you are able to solve that mcq you are absolutely fine time management completely depends upon you 
you can read for three hours as well there are some people who is already studying they are doing job they have some uh, other homeworks so there are several people so you just make according to your thing proper schedule and timing is important and then you whatever you ha i have told earlier you just you can follow that one proper sleep proper food is really you can't afford you can't afford getting sick during your preparation it's just waste of one week it might be go to one month and then you will realize that the time has gone so don't do that you can write in point you already know your whatever your goods and bads so you can make your hand notes concise notes those will really help during your exams so in short time revisions and all now i will tell one key important thing one major important thing one i already told that solving mcqs and old papers whatever exam you are giving another major thing is that revision revision is very important like i have seen people they are damn talented damn talented but if you are they, they are not revising you, there are several units which are new for you like for me plant physiology diploma i was keep revising those things i was keep solving those mcq so revision is always important you don't read new topics it's absolutely fine but revising old thing because you have given time and revision does not take for top uh, 10 to 15 minutes more than 10 to 15 minutes so either daily weekly monthly whatever you like just keep revising the things okay so this is really important solving mcqs and revision is the key of success to any exam like csir gate iit exam or anything now what to do like 10 days or 50, 15 to 20 days earlier what you do don't read new topics you just keep revising the things like if you are for, forgetting the things like geological time scale related to metabolism those topics you keep revising you have to remember those things after completing we can only provide and several other coaching institute provide the mock test like four or five mocks proper in a csir format you give those exams if you are scoring well that you will understand that which section is weak for you which is your weakness so that is really important before exam you just give the mock you, you just don't appear directly to the exam you just practice before that you can uh, understand the time management you can do you can sit for three hours or not and then how much you are prepared which unit is your strong part how to attain that one so there are several coaching exam the biomix also provides free of cost so those things you can do so these things are there that you should follow and wish you all the best if anything required you can message us anytime any doubt anything so just feel free to message us good luck so i will summarize whatever uh, i told so far that you start studying morning one subject afternoon or evening one subject solve mcqs on daily basis from different sources like pathfinder mcqs book csir old paper on the same day don't delay this same day i have seen people are solving question reading today and solving question after one month or one week don't do it and after completing after completing your both units in 18 to 20 days give unit marks it's called unit mark okay 140 question will be there for only biochemistry or only cell biology if you are getting 60 to 80 percent or 70 to 80 percent you are safe in that subject you are completely ready for that subject then what you do last but not the least that physical and mental health is really important eat properly take as i told that take proper break on sundays and then proper sleep proper food don't take stress it's just normal exam you can crack it you can make it and there are several options it's not like only one option only csr is the option gate are there dbt and there are several options so you can make it don't worry all the best but during MSc what you can do whatever common subjects 
are between your semester and CSIR like biochemistry, cell biology, genetics these are common subjects so whatever in particular current semester subjects are there you read carefully from the reference book now whatever throughout the semester is not common between your semester and CSIR like ecology or plant physiology or developmental biology for that one you take only one or two subjects give a time like daily one hour or half an hour reading of that subject so for that one simply what you can do like you have started developmental biology so you read uh, you check YouTube videos of that particular topic in the syllabus learn from that it will take 20 to 20 minutes to 30 minutes then read yourself from book that I have provided and then solve MCQ so by that you can prepare the topic which is not you are going to read during your semester so by this method you can study uh, the CSIR during your MSc preparation